what's going on guys, it's Brian with Superman's Comics and collaboration with comicbookinvest.com and in this video, I'm going to give you my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out July 3rd, 2019. Now if this is your first time on my channel, I do a lot of comic and pop culture related content, so please make sure you subscribe and click that bell notification so that way you'll be notified every time a future video drops. We have a great week for comics, last week to me was a little bit better but I still like a lot of books that are coming out. So let's stop talking about it and let's get into the picks. First up this week, we have No One Left to Fight. This is from Dark Horse Publishing. It takes inspiration from Dragon Ball and tells a story of regret, resentment, and growing older and asks the question, what does a fighter do when there's no one left to fight? Dark Horse does have that first look contract with Netflix. That's not to say this will or will not become a show on there, but I like the story, I like the premise, and I like that there's only one cover for it, so I'm picking this up this week. Next up, we have Avengers of the Super Sons number 12. This is the last issue in this maxi series. Really enjoyed it. It's always been in my weekly picks, so I'm definitely picking up this last issue for it. Next, we have Batgirl number 36. There's a regular Francis Manipal cover, but what I like for this, what I like for most of those Batgirls, and why most people probably pick it up, because the story... It's not bad, but it's not great. But there's a regular price cover B Joshua Middleton variant. I know people get fatigue over the same artists on the same covers. There's no repeating that Batgirl number 23. But these are gorgeous covers, and I love those cover Bs for DC. So I'm adding this to my collection. Next, we have Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, issue number 3. This is a great story. I don't know if you follow us on the CBSI Bolo Show. But we've been talking about this title, so I'm going to continue to pick this up. I love the direction James Tenney IV has been taking it. I've also picked up the previous Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series, so I'm not going to stop now. This is going to have a regular Freddie Williams cover, as well as a regular price Kevin Eastman variant. Next, we have Deceased number 3. I'm not sure if you've been following this story. Some people like it, some people don't like it, some people think it's a ripoff of Marvel Zombies. I am tend to enjoy it. This is going to have three different covers for it. There's a regular cover, there's a regular price Francesco Mattina variant, as well as a regular price Yasmin Putri horror variant. Next, we have Harley Quinn number 63. I don't have the regular cover in this video. I do think it's a great cover, but why I even have it in the video to begin with is that Year of the Villains cover, that Frank Cho variant of Harley Quinn. Love that. To be fully honest, when I first saw the cover, I actually thought it was a Tedesco variant, but Frank Cho is doing the art on it. And it's gorgeous, so I'm adding it to my collection. Here we have Justice League number 27. Not sure if you've been reading it. I've really been enjoying it since the last arc, so I'm still picking this up. It's going to have a regular Bruno Redondo cover and an Arthur Adams cardstock variant. I want to say regular price, but these cardstock variants are a little bit more than the regular issue. So I guess you could say it's not really regular price, but you're still not paying those incentive prices for it. So definitely, if you like those cardstock, those Year of the Villains, there's portrait variants. These are the ones to pick up. I'm not saying what your rise in value, but if you like it, make sure you get yourself a copy. Next up, we have Lois Lane number one. This is a new series. Lois Lane is out to uncover a threat to her husband, and it's a plot that reaches highest levels of international power brokers and world leaders. There's a regular cover by Mike Perkins. There's a regular price variant by Jenny Friesen. Also, if you're a fan of Jenny Friesen and you haven't checked it out yet, we have a great interview from Heroes Con a couple weeks ago with Mike Morello, who writes the Cover Tunes article on comicbookinvest.com, and Jenny Friesen, absolutely great, fantastic. Love Jenny Friesen, nicest person in the world. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll put a card up here right now, and I'll highly recommend you do so. Next up is a new comic from Image. It's Sea of Stars number one. This comic is written by Jason Aaron, so as soon as I found that out, I didn't care what it was called. I'm definitely on board for this. But Sea of Stars is based about, it's about a space trucker who takes his son on a, on a job with them. They get separated because the truck gets bit in half by a leviathan. And then the father's suit is leaking oxygen. He's trying to find his son. And the son's out there riding space dolphins and, and monkeys and all types of things. Looks like a fantastic issue. There was an ash can for this that was handed out at Heroes Con. So be on the lookout for that as well. This is going to have a regular cover by Stephen Green. And a regular price variant by Mike Magnola. Next up we have Thumbs number 2. I really enjoyed the first issue. If you're a fan of social networking, you're definitely gonna want to, you're definitely gonna want to check this book out. Issue two hitting shelves this week, so I'm definitely picking that up. Next, we have Walking Dead number 192. This is the commemorative variant of Rick Grimes, 
or second printing, however you want to call it. It's got Rick Grimes on the on the cover of it. So definitely make sure you pick up a copy of that. Because in case you didn't know, spoiler alert, Rick Grimes was killed in Walking Dead 192. Also, Walking Dead 193 comes out this week as well. Coming out from Marvel this week, we have Arrow number one. Now, if you took notice, when New War of the Realms, New Agents of Atlas number one came out, skyrocketed. This is picking up from there with Arrow. In our self-titled series, it's going to have five different covers for it. There's a regular cover, a regular priced John Tyler Christopher action figure variant, a regular priced art germ variant. There's a 1 in 25 Mike and Dolfo variant and a 1 in 50 variant for this issue. Next, we have Fantastic Four Prodigal Son number one. This is one of three interconnected issues. It's going to feature Fantastic Four, Silver Surfer, and Guardians of the Galaxy. It introduces Prodigal, who is a strange alien being that crash landed in the Savage Land and becomes worshipped by a race of swamp dwelling barbarians. Fantastic Four is called on to aid stopping those barbarians from conquering the entire world. He's going to have a regular cover for it as well as a regular price Greg Land variant. Immortal Hulk number 20. This has kind of waned on some people. I don't see that. I don't see as much hype on Immortal Hulk as there was before, but I still love the story on this. Al Ewing's been doing a great job, and I always love those regular covers by Alex Ross, so I continue to pick it up. Speaking of which, this is going to have a regular cover by Alex Ross, as well as a regular price carnageized variant by Nick Bradshaw. Savage Avengers number three. This is a great series so far. Some people like it, some people hate it. I've actually been enjoying it, so I'm going to continue to pick this up. There are three different covers for it. There's a regular David Finch cover, a regular price Lionel Francis U Carnageized variant, as well as an incentive variant by Simone Bianchi. Next up, we have Spider Gwen Ghost Spider number 10. Love the regular cover for this. Homage to the Spider Man No More storyline. But in this issue, Gwen finds herself teaming up with Spider Man and Spider Man. And also, it says that she's going to get a new code name. Now, what that means could be anyone's guess may be worth picking up. So I'm gonna add this to my pool list. There's a regular cover by Bangle, as well as a regular price carnageized variant. Getting into some indie books next up, we have Heathen number seven. This is from Vault Comics. I don't know if you read Heathen before, but it's a great issue. It's one of Vault's uh, earlier books, very low print run, but I enjoyed it, especially if you like Norse mythology, Viking type stories, definitely pick up Heathen. So the Heathen number seven is coming out this week and I'm looking forward to picking it up. Nasty Pills number one. This comes from Amigo Comics. Driven by drugs and thirst of revenge, Mary Campbell's on a rampage, but people don't know what she wants. Whether it's justice, revenge, or just a painful and confusing mix of the two. It's a new action thriller from Amigo Comics. Love the cover on it, so I'm going to pick it up. She Said Destroy number two. First issue was great. Don't see any reason why I wouldn't pick up the second issue. So I'm going to continue to pick this up. I always pick up new series that I enjoy the publisher on, at least through the first arc. So I'm definitely going to be adding this because I've been enjoying the story so far. And I hope it keeps going. And it looks like the story is going to pick up even more from here. So definitely picking up She Said Destroy number two. Next, we have Test number one. This is also from Vault Comics. It's a new issue. It's going to have a regular cover as well as an homage cover to Transmetropolitan. This Vault Vintage homage covers are always fantastic. So definitely pick that one up. But this comic is about an orphan, a guinea pig, who's been undergoing medical tests for cash, is a body hacker, and a hardcore future junkie. He's also on the run from a mythical town named Laurelwood, where they're test marketing future tech that can't possibly exist yet. Love the premise for this comic, so I'm definitely picking this up. And that's why it's in my weekly picks. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, July 3rd, 2019. As always, comment down below. Let me know what books you guys are picking up. If you haven't already done so, make sure you click that thumbs up button for me. And make sure you subscribe to this channel. So that way, you'll never miss a future video. Question of the day. Not comic related, but it's summertime. So what's your favorite summer activity to do? This is Brian with Events Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com, and I'll see you guys next week.